Hey everyone, I'm Jason O'Dell and uh, I've got a little Lightroom tip for you today and I get to ask this question all the time, which is I'll be showing my screen and someone will say, how did you customize the toolbar on Lightroom to show your name and your website and change the fonts? So that little trick is called the identity plate and I'm going to show you how you can customize it um, to make it however you want on your own computer, okay? Here we are in Adobe Lightroom Classic and the top of the screen has your modules and the left upper corner is something called the identity plate and normally it will just say Adobe Photoshop or maybe it has your name or your Adobe account but there's a way to customize this and change the font change the colors so all you have to do to customize the ident identity plate is to right click on it and choose personalized and you can see it changes to this personalized uh, identity plate now if you haven't set it up you uh, won't get this so let me show you how to set it up we're gonna right click on the identity plate again and we're gonna choose the edit identity plate option and then you get the identity plate editor pulls up and here is where you can change your fonts you can change the words you can type whatever you want in the text box you could even upload a graphic if you wanted to use a uh, image file change the font to whatever you want change the color to whatever you want with your color picker okay over on the right hand side here are the module pickers and you can change the font there to whatever you want and you have two color choices uh, the first color is the highlight color and the second color is the default color so you can do this you can play with the size of the font if it gets too big for example if i choose 64 you can see it's cutting off on my screen up here so choose a font that that actually fits usually somewhere between 24 and 36 point and uh, you'll be good to go so that's how you create the uh, custom identity plate in lightroom classic and uh, i'll talk to you next time